before you do, we are going to make a mixed beet salad, uh, and I bet you it's going to knock our socks off, it'll, right? It might knock everything off. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be that kind of show, isn't it's, it? No, it's that good, though. It's I love beets. Good. Beets are a seasonal item. They're so sweet. They're so earthy. I just love, I love cooking with them. Not just salads. You can grate them. You can pickle them. You can do purees. You can juice them. There's so much you can do with beets, so that I love, love, so love them. That is so true. And the colors are beautiful with beets. Love. Beets. If you notice, I always like... I always like mixing colors and and actually it's a good thing you brought that up is because on these you have the the yellow golden beets but if you store them with the red beets yeah. the red beets will bleed into them and then you get like a two tone almost like you're creating your own beets at home right really cool right I like colors yeah I know the the richness of colors and that's how they know you know you're getting your nutrients if you've got all that really good color exactly color, when right? you have the bright green you got the chlorophyll it's exactly right okay so, so how do we start this one okay so I use uh, arugula for this salad you can use organic kale Swiss chard, spinach, baby spinach, whatever you like to use. But I like rocket arugula because it holds up. It's got that bite, right? Right. Okay, so we have some mustard and some just blood orange juice in here this time. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of white wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add a little bit of chives. I'll get you to do some whisking. But sure. But we're going to have to... Does everyone know what emulsifying is? Emulsifying is putting two Class. liquids together. Class. Yes. No hands, nobody. They kind of know. Not if you know what emulsifying is. Yeah, so You're lying. <laughs> So oh, no, they know. So emulsification know. or emulsifying is usually when you are making vinaigrettes. It's mixing two liquids together that don't normally go together, okay? Because if I just it. poured this all in there, it wouldn't really mix. So we're slowly going to emulsify this. And you know, it, it's, you need like an apron to kind of do this because it can get a little it's bit flashy. messy. Okay. Yeah, but you can just keep mixing that there. Okay. And uh, we're going to add a little bit of salt to this now. How? You guys want to say it with me, okay? You ready? Ah. Let's try it's again. Bad. It's going to be too salty, yeah? Ah. Better. Okay, we're getting there. Mm. Nice. So, I love Emerald. Okay, <laughs> so I'll put that back Emerald there. Emerald was here on the show, and he doesn't do the band anymore. I know. When I, I was first, very sad when about that. When I first that. got into cooking, I would watch his shows. Grandpa as a little kid. I waited like four hours for his, uh, with my mother, who's in the audience. I waited four Sweet. hours for his autograph when I was like a little, little boy. Hold on a second. Who's your mommy? Mommy's Can you there. wave, Mom? <laughs> hey, I didn't know you were here today. This is the origin of Devin Raj <laughs> Rajkumar. Give her a big hand. <laughs> you know what? There's something about an expert that that brings his mommy that I yeah. absolutely love. And my girlfriend. And your girlfriend. Should we call her out too, or will she be mortified? Uh, I don't think she'll be mortified at all, actually. Wait, girlfriend! <laughs> awesome. I was wondering who the beautiful woman was in the red in the red shirt or the red dress. She's gorgeous. You Look go. at you. What a beautiful couple. Okay, I'll stop Back now. to the beet salad. Back to the beet salad. Okay, so, so cute. When you're, really important, when you're cooking your beets, uh, if you're roasting them or steaming them, 30 minutes to an hour. Now, I know that gives you a lot of leeway there, but it really depends on the size of the beet. So you want to okay. cook them till they're fork tender, or if you want to take them more, cook them till they're a little bit softer. Okay. Uh, for peeling, I just take off the bottom, and then I just use the back of a spoon, and you can go and you can peel it really, really easily. See how easily that comes off? Yeah. And then you're left with this beautiful golden inside. Um, if you're peeling the red ones, then, you know, we use, I use black gloves, you know, it's a food dudes thing, I think, right? Yeah. So we're all black everything. So we use black gloves so that way, you know, your hands don't go completely red. Also, don't wear a nice white shirt when you're peeling beets. Like no. you are right now. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not a really good idea, okay? <laughs> they get a little messy. Okay, so that's how you would peel them. Okay. So the vinaigrette's kind of coming together. I need to go in and whisk it a little bit more. I know, you need that, like, power hand making it all But I, I do want to take a second. Em emulsification. Emulsification. Yes. emulsification. I do want to take a second to talk about the candied nuts. All right. And thank you for leaving us some for the segment. Yeah, I I'm had a few. You okay? I'm just teasing. So we take uh, a frying pan, you toast your nuts on a medium heat, then you add your white sugar. The white sugar, if you ever made caramel before, you all know emulsifying, so you must know how to make caramel, right? Yeah? No? <laughs> They're like we lied about the emulsifying. I'm sorry. So you're gonna we melt. Don't know how. So you're gonna melt down the white sugar a little bit till it's a little caramel and brown. Yeah. And uh, we're just gonna toss this in there, and then slowly it'll start to melt, and you get these candied nuts. Tastes and so good. They, they're real, they add that texture and that crunch and a nice color and a nuttiness to the dish. Okay. Um, I love coming with tips, so I have another tip for you today with respect to cutting, because people loved that pepper trick last time. So you have yes. an apple here, Honeycrisp apple. Anytime you have a round object that rolls around, just take off a side of it, and now it lays flat. Yeah. So if I want to go, I can come in. I can cut just a little bit of the... I don't want too, too much. And then we can go across from here. And then I have nice sticks. If you want to do it a lot slower, that's fine. Oh, nice. And then we can garnish. And we have these nice little apple sticks. So it's a big trick anytime you want a julienne, which is a fine 
fine thin slice. Yes. And you can just cut off and let it, it's like a carrot for example, then you have a nice flat side to work with and it's less dangerous than dealing with something wobbly. That is a great tip and uh, I know we did go through that with the three chefs and it has changed the way that I cut fruit. It just makes it so much easier to have so the flat side. So much easier, yeah. Now the rest of it, that fast little julienning, I don't know, I'm not with you well, there. No, I'm no, you know what, yet. it just takes practice. Just like cut 2,500 apples and you'll be right and there. And you'll be okay? there. Yeah, no problem. You'll be right there. That makes sense. Last thing I want to talk about yeah. uh, is this beautiful balsamic glaze. Uh, this recipe, I'm not sure if I include it because I grabbed it on my way out, but okay. it's equal parts sugar to balsamic vinegar. Right. So if I put a cup of this in a pan to reduce, I'll put a cup of white sugar until it gets nice and drizzly. And then this mm. is what takes your food to the next level. You can put little drizzles and it makes it look really pretty, oh, sweet and sour. Gorgeous. And I also, with the apple, uh, we, I cut up some mango and some apple as well, and then this gives you a nice little crunchy sweet and sour bite and color. It's these things, these little things like the, the apple and the apple mango salad and the little chives, the pickled shallots, these are the things that are gonna take your food and your dishes to the next level. It's these little accents that'll set you apart from your neighbor down the road, okay? And give you some flavor, okay. Pow. So all of this is on our website, that's cityline.ca. Thanks for bringing your family and your girlfriend, that's very sweet. Let's go to break, more coming out. <laughs>